Your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the February sky. The winter night sky, filled with brilliant stars, presents one of the best celestial views. Orion, the great hunter of Greek mythology, dominates the winter sky. This constellation is one of the easiest star patterns to recognize. It is full of young stars, dying stars, and many nebulae. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star with a diameter about 650 times that of the sun. It shines with some 60,000 times the sun's luminosity. Betelgeuse is near the end of its life. With the hydrogen fuel at its core practically depleted, the core has contracted and heated, while the outer gaseous layers of the star have swelled. Orion's knee is Rigel, a triple star system made up of two smaller stars orbiting a blue supergiant. Rigel's blue supergiant star has a short lifespan. Blue supergiant stars are much hotter than our sun and use up their fuel quickly. Orion's belt, one of the easiest star patterns to recognize, is made up of three stars, Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka. Canis Major, the great dog, is the faithful companion who follows in Orion's footsteps. Canis Major is dominated by the most brilliant star in the night sky, Sirius. Sirius is actually a double system, containing a bright star and a much smaller and fainter companion. From Orion's belt, look down to the Great Orion Nebula. Although barely visible to the unaided eye, it is the brightest diffuse gas cloud in the night sky. A small telescope unveils the details and grandeur of the nebula. Embedded inside the Orion Nebula is the trapezium, a group of hot young stars so brilliant that they cause the surrounding gas to glow. This turbulent cloud of dust and gas is, in fact, a star nursery. In this maelstrom of activity, new stars are being born. Luminous Venus sets slowly into the western horizon around sunset. By 9 p.m., Saturn is high above the eastern sky. His rings are visible even through small binoculars. February 9th features a penumbral lunar eclipse. It will be visible from Eastern Europe, Australia, the Pacific, and Western North America. A penumbral lunar eclipse happens when the moon passes through the fainter edges of Earth's shadow. The moon may darken slightly. 2009 is the International Year of Astronomy. Celebrate by exploring the night sky from your own backyard.